My friends, when you think of the fruits of the Spirit in the Bible, what do you think of? Do you think of these fruits? I love fruits too. But that's not what we're talking about today. My name is Ibukun. Welcome back to Church Online. We'll be exploring the fruits of the Spirit this season. I hope you're all getting ready for that. But before then, Friends, have you been keeping safe? Have you been washing your hands? Eating well? Studying? Learning something new. And when you need to cough, you do that into your elbow. I hope you've been enjoying school online. Remember to show love to everyone around you. I hope you've been having a nice time with your mom, your dad, sister, and um brothers and also i hope most of you have not been watching tv all day long it's important you take out time to read a book or learn something new now friends before we go into praise and worship time i love that time i need us to close our eyes and let's pray lord jesus we thank you for today we thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you for children all over the world. We thank you for our family. Heavenly Father, we ask as well, dwelling, um, learning more at your feet today. Lord Jesus, help us. Give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Friends, are you ready? I need you to put on your dancing shoes. I have mine. And let's praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Anybody ready to give God some praise? Come on, give him a shout. We are the ones who have come back to say thank you. Yeah. He deserves the glory.
welcome back. I had fun praising God. Friends, my life is like a tree planted by the rivers. I wouldn't want my tree to be in the desert. Why? Because by the rivers, I can feel God's love. I can be nourished and bear good fruits. Just like the river, God's love, it's like that. It flows into my life and I bear lovely fruits. I pop up lovely fruits like love, joy, peace, gentleness, patience, and self-control. As we said earlier on, this week or this month, we'll be learning about the fruit of the Spirit. We started with the fruit, love. Friends, do you know how to spell the word love? L-O-V-E. Can you spell it backwards? E-V-O-L. But really, friends, we're spelling it like this. L-O-V-E. Love, it's more like the foundation for all the fruits of the Spirit. Because without God's love, without love in our life, we can bear some fruits or most of the fruits we'll be exploring later in the month. Friends, today we are going to study the book of Luke. Can you say that after me? Luke. Luke is found in the New Testament. I need you all to get your Bible and your journal. We are going to study the life of someone that carried out the acts of love or that exhibited love Luke chapter 10 verse 25 starting from 25 please open your bibles to Luke chapter 10 verse 25 and behold a certain lawyer stood by and tested him saying teacher what shall I do to inherit eternal life he said to him what do you think was talking there? That was Jesus. What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and all your strength, and with all your mind, your neighbor as yourself. That was someone that came to meet Jesus, a lawyer. He came to meet Jesus to ask some questions testing him just like some of us are always being tested with different kind of things but let's go on but he was and he said to him you have answered rightly do this and you will leave that's that was jesus saying that but the lawyer he was trying to justify himself himself sorry who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a certain priest came down that road and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. A priest, that's like a pastor. That's, um, yes, a pastor in our world today. The pastor passed by him and left him there. Hmm. Let's go on. Likewise, a Le Levite, when he arrived at the place, who is a Levite? Hmm. Someone walking in the church, just like the protocol, teacher, um, ushers, choir. When he arrived at the place, came and looked. He even looked and passed by on the other side. Hmm. Friends, someone on the floor. 
and just looked and passed by. Let's go on. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal. Hmm. Brought him to an inn and took care of him. Friends, Samaritan could have, would be, in our world today could be, someone that is yet to know Christ or doesn't know much about the Bible. But this man stopped to help the wounded man. That was, that was awesome. And he bandaged him. Mm. Friends, you need to stay safe. But notwithstanding, I guess he had some things in his bag because I believe he would have also been traveling too. So, took care of him and took him to the inn. Right now, ours is hospital. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two dinero, that's money, gave them to the innkeeper. I believe that in our world today, that would be the nurses or someone at the receptionist, the hospital. Take care of him and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I would repay you. Now, friends, let's get back to our world today. Let's apply this. I know right now in our schools, our schools have been shut down for a while. But let's say, have you ever done this before? Maybe a friend of yours doesn't have any snack. On Monday, no snack. Tuesday, no snack. Wednesday, no snack. And you have fruits, apples, bananas, and you have cakes, but yet you didn't share. That means you were acting like the Levite or and the priest. But if you've done that in the past, right now, it's an opportunity to move on when to learn more about the fruit of the Spirit, which is love. John told us in his letter about love. He said, he wrote to the Christians then and told them that they have to show love. And then it was more of giving your money and helping others when they are helpless. So friends, we need to extend that to everyone around us. Right now, we have a situation around the world. How many of you have actually um, shown love to someone? It could be your mom. Your mom might have been cooking my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And maybe the next day she's a bit tired. If you're nine, 10, you could help her slice the onions, put the cabbage somewhere, and you could help mom to do lots of things at home. You could also help dad or help him polish his shoes, wash his cars, or help your sister, your younger ones, doing or guide them while doing their assignment. Not to do the assignment, guide. If they don't understand, you can explain. Then at times, it's, it could be very difficult to show love. I can imagine if after everyone has finished eating, at home, you just leave the time, they just leave their plates on the table. Some of us will grumble, but really, that is when you need to check if you have the fruit of the Spirit called love. So, by the time you tidy up, when you tidy up, even when it's not convenient, you're exhibiting the fruits. So, friends, the best way to show love. It's not just by saying it, it's by our actions. What we do when situations seem not to be interesting around us. Remember friends, Jesus came into the world to die for every one of us. For he came and died for us. Why? Because God loves us. 
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And when you have Jesus as a friend, you would have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is like a seed that helps you to blossom and bring out that fruit of love, joy, as we keep exploring. Friends, if you don't have Jesus as a friend, I don't know how it's going to be easy to exhibit that love. Yes, I know some of us will struggle, we struggle, but we need the Holy Spirit to help us. And if you don't have Jesus, I don't know how you have the Holy Spirit. So if you want to have Jesus as a friend, I'll need you to close your eyes and say this after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for going all the way to the cross to die for my sins. I'm sorry for every other things, all the bad things I've done. I want you in my life. Come in. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, I'm so, so happy that you've given your life to Christ. That's the best gift ever. And that's the best friend ever. So this week, I'll leave you with a memory verse. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Which says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such, there is no law. Friends, please, as much as you can, try to show love to someone around you. Remember, love is an action, not just words. Thank you. Till we see next week. Bye.